we have seen all the individual components now it's time to con now it is the time to make a one deep architecture and we have to put all the components into one architecture so let me introduce a nn module class which is actually inherited from the nn module and i am going to name it chrononet The first thing I have to do is to define the block 1, then block 2, block 3, GRU1, GRU2, GRU3, GRU4 and the final linear layer. So I am going to copy this block 1 and put it here. Name it as self.block1. Then I will copy it again and just use it two more time because we have three inception blocks. The second and third block receive the input as 96 channels or feature. Then I have to define the GRU layer. Now you have to decide that whether you want to use linear layer before the GRU layer or you want to have the output of the hidden state it's you to decide you can choose any of the two options I am going to use the linear layer option then i have to define the flattening layer look like which i haven't defined yet but after the gru layer i have to define a flattening layer and from the flattening layer the output will go to the fully connected layer which can be the last layer and have a sigma dot softmax function This flattening layer also exists in Keras with the same name, I believe, flatten. This is the fully connected layer at the end, or this you can call it as output layer. And then I have a relu activation function. All the components have been initialized now I have to make a forward function you can see that in the block in the block architecture i haven't used the relu activation function you can also use the relu activation function there you can also use batch normalization layer here but i think people haven't used it so i'm not going to use it but it's better if you use a batch normalization layer here in the block function so no, now I am going to permute the output of the block before fading it to the GRU layer. The permuted output will go to the GRU output 1. And from there it will go to the GRU, output, GRU to layer 2 and then it will get concatenated
the output of the GRU concatenated layer will go to the GRU3 layer. Okay, here I have to change something. It should be self.gru1, self.gru2, and similarly self.gru3. The output of the GRU3 layer will go to a linear layer because we have to compress the input output of the GRU4 layer. So I will make it this way before that I have to use the concatenation of the GRU1, GRU2 and GRU3 after the linear layer I will use a ReLU activation function The output of linear layer will go to the GRU4 layer. After the GRU4 layer, we have a flattening layer, and the flattening of and the output of flattening layer will go to the FC1 layer. So let me return the output x and initialize the model and see that if we got some error. Okay, it says that chrononet object has no attribute flatten because we need to do an end dot flatten. The model received the input which we have defined earlier and I am going to pass this to the model and I'm going to pass the input to the model. Okay, it says that we have again misspelled that and forgot to use. We got an error chrononet object has no attribute block 3. Okay, now let's see what is the shape of this out variable. Its shape should be 3, 1 because we have 3 batch size and we have 1 output whether it which show the probability of being schizophrenic or a normal subject this is the end of this part in the next part we will move to the data section and we will download the data we will reshape the data into the desired direction though we have seen that in the part one and the part two and then we will do how and then we will train the model and see how that works. thank you uh, one more thing, I have created a playlist of the series which is available on my channel as EEG ML-TL. All the videos related to the EEG and AI will be posted in this playlist and I have added the part 1 of this chrononet already. Thank you.